With the level of growth technology has had and the progress it's made in recent years, one would at least expect a 10-year-old spacecraft to be very much in use and still be efficient and effective, let alone that it is more than 50 years old. But this is exactly what the Russian Suze rocket, an aging piece of Cold War technology, has successfully achieved. To get to know why Russia still uses a 50-year-old rocket instead of new and improved ones, keep on watching. You don't want to miss a thing. So remember to click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're always updated and notified when we post high quality content like this. With that said, let's get right into the video. Suez, which was first blasted into space 50 years ago, has since become the most successful craft to carry humans into orbit. The Suez is a Soviet Russian spacecraft that attaches to a rocket of the same name and ferries cosmonauts and astronauts to the International Space Station. Since the 60s, Russia has made use of the Suez spacecraft to deliver crews to space, dock with multiple Soviet and Russian space stations, and the country continued using the spacecraft to reach the ISS after its construction. For almost 60 years now, the Russians have been flying to space using the same technology. This rocket first carried a cage of tortoises into space and has since seen impressive improvement as it has been used for well over 100 manned space missions and has since become the only craft capable of ferrying astronauts to the International Space Station. In a sense, one might see the Russian Suze as the grandmother of rockets. It's been around long enough to earn that title, and there are several good reasons why. An impeccable feature that has ensured its success has to be its safety and reliability. Although a little cramped and tight on the inside, only three crew members can safely travel aboard the Suze at one time, it has a reputation for being secure and dependable. This is most likely due to the first set of losses it suffered. Apart from the first tragic event, the loss of a crewman on the first manned launch in April 1967 after the cosmonaut's parachute system failed to deploy and the death of another three crew members on descent in 1971 as a result of loss of air pressure, there have been no records of failure until 2018. A lot of hard work has gone into slimming the chances of similar history repeating itself. Its engineers are also constantly making improvements to it and adding upgrades whenever the need arises, allowing it to retain its position as the best. The basic design for Suze was established in 1962 by the Soviet rocket engineer Sergei Korolev. It contains three major parts, which are the instrument compartments, a cylindrical service module onto which the craft's solar panels are attached, and which contains instruments and rocket engines. The lowering compartment, consisting of a small aerodynamic descent module in which the cosmonauts return to Earth, and living quarters, which is a spheroid orbital module that provides accommodation for a crew of up to three. The orbital and service modules are jettisoned when Suze re-enters the atmosphere. The descent module drifts by parachute to the ground. A few meters before it touches down, a small rocket is fired to cushion the impact of landing. The living quarters are a little more spacious than the lowering compartment, where the cosmonauts sit at liftoff, 3.4 by 2.2 meters. Considering the small space that is used to house whatever cargo the capsule is delivering to the ISS, and is also where the complex sanitation device our space lavatory is situated. It is safe to say that traveling to space in Soyuz isn't exactly a luxurious five-star trip. The spacecraft was being modernized all these years, mostly on the inside, particularly the control elements, but it is still quite uncomfortable. While its design leaves much to be desired, the biggest advantage it has perhaps had in this regard is that no other company has been able to build a spacecraft quite like it. The China, Shenzhou rocket and the US Space Shuttle are vivid examples of others that have tried and failed. They came close but could not meet up. That's understandable considering that the Russian Suze is a specially made one-of-a-kind rocket. To start with, the gravitational force of this rocket is up to five times stronger than normal gravity and it was built to easily adjust to changes in temperature. This was proven by the fact that it had to withstand conditions at the Soviet launch site in Kazakhstan where temperatures drop to minus 30 degrees C in the winter and reach plus 30 degrees C in summer. The recently launched Crew Dragon spacecraft by Elon Musk's SpaceX has been repeatedly compared to the Suez spacecraft and has seen its major competition. The Crew Dragon had a successful commercial launch on May 30th, 2020, proving itself capable of rivaling the Russian Suez, which was one of the only spacecraft in the world capable of bringing crews to the station. The American Space Shuttle program was terminated in 2011, and Russia has since held a monopoly on taking humans into orbit. NASA itself needed to purchase Suze seats for its astronauts to access the International Space Station ISS, after the complex's construction began almost exactly 20 years ago, in 1998. As of mid-2018, 
the cost was more than $70 million per person for each mission. In May 2020, NASA announced it was purchasing a final Su C from Roscosmos for $19.25 million. And the last mission where NASA pays Russia for a seat launched on the 14th of October 2020. NASA officials had stated for months leading up to that May 2020 announcement that it was in talks with Russia not just for that seat, but potentially a second seat for mission launching in the spring of 2021. The next long duration SUS mission to the ISS, scheduled for launch in April 2021, is expected to have a crew of three Roscosmos cosmonauts. While SUS has been in charge of making these commercial flights for so long, NASA has announced the first uncrewed test of the Space Dragon commercial crew vehicle, with Boeing Starliner's test to follow at an undisclosed date. Crewed flights are expected to have been done in 2019 or 2020. When the commercial crew vehicles are ready for spaceflight, NASA will no longer need to purchase seats from the Russians. This in no way implies insignificance for the Sioux spacecraft, as the Russians will likely continue to ferry cosmonauts and other countries' astronauts into space using Sioux. However, and the international participation in the space station is expected to run until 2024. Despite these impressive feats, the future of Sioux is in question today. Several new issues with Sioux have popped up over time, and with how long this technology has been in constant use, I'd say these concerns are considered valid. For one, the spacecraft could do with better planning considering how tight and cramped up the spacecraft is inside, and this causes the crew to sit uncomfortably without any space to even budge an inch. There have also been questions about how safe the SUS rocket is. There have been recent emergency cases with SUS manned spacecrafts that have increased these concerns. On June 6, 2018, a leak in the spacecraft in late August that was traced to a probable drill hole was discovered after the spacecraft had brought the Expedition 56 crew to space. On top of this, when the Expedition 57 crew was supposed to launch to space on October 11, 2018, the SUS rocket carrying their SUS spacecraft, the two share the same name, experienced a malfunction. Thankfully, the abort system on the spacecraft worked flawlessly, and the crew landed safely back on Earth. Meanwhile, an investigation into the cause showing that a deformed sensor stopped the rocket from working properly was discovered. Despite all these concerns, Russian engineers still believe that SUS would continue to serve for some time, as it has proved itself as an ultra-reliable spacecraft. And it's this reliability that is considered to be its main selling point. Russians will implement more checks and control measures to ensure SUS safety, but regardless, the ISS partners need to continue to use SUS as there's no other option ready for use, and the ISS has been continuously crewed since the year 2000. The Sioux space rocket continues to have its name speak for itself, and will remain of huge relevance as long as these reasons stand. Cheaper spaceships are now being developed by the US, by Elon Musk, and other entrepreneurs are thought to soon be capable of replacing the Russian Sioux. A replacement for the Sioux spacecraft called Federatsia, Federation spacecraft has been in the works since 2009 and is still being developed. This new spacecraft is said to be much more spacious with a capacity to comfortably accommodate six people. However, it seems a while before the new Federation or RL spacecraft will be completed, launched and deemed a worthy replacement for the legendary Russian Sioux. Thank you for watching one of our videos, and while you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen and check out the juicy details coached in them. See you there!